everyone, I'm back again with another video. It's Nikki here, your Bow Buckles brand ambassador. Today we're going to do this cute little snowman. It's actually based on a design from Patty De Leon. Um, I absolutely love her. She's an amazing artist. She does the cutest, most whimsical, adorable designs. And I did one of hers for Favorite Artist Day on one of my painty groups. And everybody commented on it. Everybody thought it was the cutest thing ever. And um, so I figured I'd show you guys how to do it too. I don't know if she has a tutorial of it, and this isn't exactly the same design as hers. It's a little bit different, so put our own twist on it, and let's get started. So the first thing you want to do for this design is lay a base down. You're going to lay a background. And for the design I did yesterday, the background I laid was some blue colors, but today I think we're going to do just something a little bit different. I'm trying to decide which one. I think we're going to use a split cake. This is kind of sunsetty, so I want to... Nah. Sorry, changed my mind. We're just going to do basic blue background. I'm going to do blue metallic as the background i'm using just a, this is actually a makeup brush it's a foundation brush but it works really good to get backgrounds and things on super quick similar to a sponge and this one you want to pull the background over your eye as well and down your cheek and then up on your forehead. And this is just a one side design. And you want the paint to be super light, so you kind of want to work it out so it's not crazy dark anywhere. It's really, really blended and super light. Because you want to be able to see your design over top of it. Remember, this is just your background, your base. This isn't your main focal point so you don't want it to take up i got a little bit of paint in my eye when you do that or where i don't want my paint to be grab your little wet wipe and wipe it on up you can shape your design if you need to that way as well so just like that you have your little background ready and this can go in your soapy water to get nice and clean now one thing I didn't do yesterday that I am going to do today, I think, if I can find a sponge. I don't think I have any sponges in here, so I actually might not do this. I was going to go ahead and sponge on a little tree in the back background. Because I have this cute little tree stencil that I got yesterday. But, um, yeah, let's try it with a brush. We're going to do a metallic white on that. Because we want it to be super light and metallic white is not very opaque. It's really, really light. So I'm going to load my brush really well, but dry. I don't want my brush to be really wet or it's going to run through the tree. And you're not going to be able to see it. And instead of painting in a stroke, we're going to dab it on. So I think we're going to go... I'm gonna put this because the snowman's actually gonna go right here, so maybe like towards the back. Like that. Right? Get my hand in there really well. And kind of dab and just press the paint in like this. Again, this is just a background piece. So it doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be in the background and it doesn't have to be super dark because I don't even think it really showed up a little bit. It doesn't have to be super dark because it's just hanging out in the background to kind of add a little bit to the design. It really didn't show up anyway. Oh well, we tried. I 
Play it on Hollow Sponge. Okay, guys, I found a sponge, so I'm gonna load my sponge. I cleaned off my stencil, and we're gonna do this again. Lay our stencil where we want it. Hold it with two hands, which is very hard to do on my own face. And start pushing the paint in there. Push the paint right through the stencil. Make sure you're really dry on the paint so you don't bleed it through. Yes, that's what we want. Perfect. So now that we have that on there and ready to go, we're going to go ahead and get our brush loaded. I'm using a large filbert or almost like a body brush just because it makes it super fast to paint your snowman. Load that up really really good with white paint and decide where I want my snowman. I'm, I'm going to put his head right here. And we're going to build a body. And we're only doing two layers on the snowman. A head and a body. We're not doing three. We're only doing two. Alright. There's your snowman. I'm going to lay another layer of white because I like mine to be super bright white and not have any of the background colors showing through. And we have that cute little tree in the back background. Super cute. Alright, and then underneath your snowman you're going to take your white. And you're going to make it look like he's sitting on top of something. Whether it be a snowbank or an ice bank or however you want to work it. You can make it look large or small. You can layer it, bring it up. However you like, whatever makes you happy. So that is our snowman. Blue. This is even bl or blue is really popping through this white paint. This is Ziva Blue and it's like popping through the white a lot. A lot more than I like it to, but onto a round brush and some orange paint. Nice bright orange from our Boba Girls kit. Oh yeah. I cannot wait till these guys come out with the larger ones like this, like the big paint pots with single colors. I literally run through these things like water. I just got this one maybe two weeks ago and it's almost gone. Yeah. I absolutely love the paints, but just go through them like crazy. So we're going to make this guy like, oh, I forgot his arms. We'll have to do his arms. I'm going to make him look looking straight up in the air. So we're going to take our orange and we're going to go a little above the center. Lay our brush down and pull up. And there is his nose. Just like that. And you're done with the orange. We're going to clean that brush off and we're going to get back into some white. Because I forgot to put his arms on. So load some white up on your brush, really good. And one arm here. One arm here. The second arm is going to be in my hairline, that's just how it works. For me, and there's nothing I can do about it. My face is just 
small. When it comes to ideal faces to face paint, I don't have an ideal face. Okay, now that he has some arms, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and clean that brush out. Oh goodness, my feet are too. We're gonna get another number four, and we're gonna make his little scarf and mittens and ear mops. So we have to decide what color we want those to be. I think I'm gonna use purple because that's my favorite. And I'm going to use the lighter purple. instead of the deep dark purple. For his scarf, we're gonna do right around his neck. Oh, I guess this is the deeper purple, I'm sorry. And we're gonna pull it down like that. Make sure it's nice and even all the way through. Just like that. And then reload your brush if you need to. And we're going to give him some mittens. And we're going to attempt to give him some mittens over here, but again, in the hairline, hard to work. Do what we can. Alrighty. And then we're going to load the brush one more time. Just to make sure it has a good load. And we're going to come here on the side of his head. And we're going to put ear muffs. Just a little half circle on the side of his head on each side. Other side. Just like that. Just like that. Clean that brush off. And we're going to set that kit to the side. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our liner brush. And we're going to get our black paint. Now we're going to start lining him up, and we're also going to put his mouth on and his buttons. So the first thing you want to do is the mouth. Little circles in the smile shape. Just like that. And his buttons are going to come down underneath his scarf here. A couple little circles for those. Alright, now we're going to start outlining. I'm going to try to do your outline as lightly as possible. You don't want it too dark because you want him to show and have a nice focal point.
I love my liner brush. I hate that I have to keep loading my liner brush. Drives me insane. There's our little snowman, all built and lined up. And we're gonna do an outline on the bottom. And we're going to pull that down to make it almost look 3D, like he's standing on an iceberg. And you want to darken underneath it a little bit more. And I'm going to get out my shader brush that I use when I'm doing shading. Which is this thing right here. A really small, delicate tip, and it's dry. It allows me to get in to that space and shade it out. And blend it really nicely. Now, if you're just doing this design on a kid, you don't need to do all the extra blending and whatnot and shading, but if it's something that you're going to be wearing yourself or <coughs> you're doing for an adult, you want it to look really nice, so you want to do the extra shading and take the time to work the design out really well. Like that. And we have our little cute little Christmas in the background. I'm super excited about that. I love that stencil. It's so cute. So now we're going to get some snowflakes going around the eyes so that we know what he's looking up in the air at. So I'm going to use my liner brush and some white paint. And I'm going to work the white paint really good. Just starburst those my snowflakes, like I said in my previous video. I do not own a starflake stencil. It's something I need to invest in sooner than later, especially for all these beautiful winter and Christmas designs I've been doing lately. And not having a starflake stencil kind of sucks. So, I could just make myself one and be done with it too. I do have a stencil cutter. I rarely ever use it. Alright, so we're going to put those and then we're going to get a number four round back out. Nice and clean. And into the white. And we're going to complement the 
Starburst snowflakes with dots. Snow from dots. Maybe even another starburst right here by the eye. Like that, and I can even go over some of these other ones and darken them a little bit if they're too light. Just a few. Keep a couple of them lighter and keep a couple of them darker. What I would do. And then. Now would be the time to go ahead and add any of your glitter or any embellishments that you want to add on at this point, and you'll be finished with your design. Get everything out of the way so I can move this up and you guys can see. There we are, that is it. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Hit the thumbs up if you like it. Don't hit the thumbs down on me. Don't do that to me. Just leave a comment. Anyway, don't forget to check out Nicole Grayson MUA1 on Facebook. NicoleGraysonMUA.com is my website. And BoBuggles.com is their website. Check us out. Check out my group, Confidence in Paint. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.